Since it was created in 1864, the Nevada Constitution has carved out a special place for the Board of Regents. That's the 13-member panel tasked with governing the state's higher education system. That system today covers eight institutions with more than 100,000 students between them. But now, 156 years later, Nevada voters will get to decide if that was the right decision with Question 1, a ballot measure that would remove the regents from the Constitution entirely. The proposal started out in the legislature as Assembly Joint Resolution 5 back in 2017. State lawmakers who drafted it say it's a badly needed update to an old, outdated system that too often tries to shield itself from accountability and oversight from other branches of government. Aside from the accountability argument, some proponents also say Question 1 will open the door to modernizing the higher education system, in part by allowing the legislature to change the way regents are chosen. Nevada system is now the only one in the country that selects all of its regents through a general election, and some proponents say that's an issue. There are no formal opponents to Question 1, though there are plenty of informal ones. Chief among them are former Chancellor Tom Riley and many of the regents themselves, who say the measure is a solution in search of a problem that will mire the system in bureaucratic red tape without actually improving student outcomes. Critics have also argued that if regents are removed from the Constitution and the legislature eventually eliminates some elected regent positions, then that could make the board less accountable to voters. The legislature has tried to do just that in the past, most recently in 2019, with a bill that would have reduced the number of regents to nine and made four of those spots appointed by the governor. Still, that bill was controversial, and even though it passed through the Senate, it died in the Assembly, and even those in favor of Question 1 don't all agree on whether or not the legislature should move to appointed regents down the line. For more on ballot questions and the 2020 election, check out the NevadaIndependent.com.